First, let's go over the news. The Raiders are remarkably healthy for week 3 of the season. There are plenty of players who were limited throughout the week, but many came off the list. Jerron Conley, Jared Cook, and Amari Cooper are the big names. They were all taken off the final injury report, meaning they're good to go. Hopefully, these injuries aren't too bad and they won't have to be limited anymore. In the end, the only thing that really matters is they're able to play during the game and produce. The only Raider on the final injury report was Sean Smith. He was limited on Thursday with the neck injury that kept him out of last game, but he practiced fully on Wednesday and Friday. Even though he's officially questionable, Jack Del Rio said that if there was a probable, that's what he'd be. He's going to play barring a major surprise. The only real question is how he's going to play with the week off after an impressive performance week one. The Redskins on the hand are pretty banged up, but I expect them all to play. The biggest injury report has to be Jordan Reed. The reports are that he has a rib injury and it's very, very painful, but he's still able to practice on a limited basis. The Titans have been a problem for the Raiders for a while, with the last game being an exception. Jordan Reed though is a problem for everyone. He is a big test for the Raiders. He might be limited, but I expect him to play and see just how improved the Raiders have gotten at covering tight ends. Another big name on the report is Josh Norman. He's a Pro Bowl cornerback and is having an excellent start to his season. The rest of the secondary might not be good, but there's no question that he's one of the best. He's limited with a shoulder injury, but he's far too valuable to miss this game. Even if he plays, he might not be tested much. The rest of the offense has a big mismatch advantage over the Redskins, and Derek Carr might find it better to attack the rest of the defense. Lastly, Rob Kelly is questionable with the rib injury. Kelly is a solid player and could potentially give the Raiders problems. Even if Kelly can't go, the Redskins have an excellent complimentary back in Chris Thompson. Even if these backs aren't at the same level as DeMarco Murray and Derrick Henry, Jay Gruden will know how best to use these backs. The Redskins and the running game will be no joke, and I expect Kelly to be able to play. This will be the most dangerous offense the Raiders have faced so far. The Titans are a good team, but their passing attack is nowhere near as good as the Redskins. Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback, and there's a reason he got franchise tagged the last two years. Any mistakes that the Raiders secondaries will have, he will capitalize on it. If there's a mismatch, particularly with Jordan Reed, he will exploit it. He's not an extremely talented quarterback, but he's still a top 15 solid starter in the NFL. As for the final score and prediction, I have the Raiders winning this one 28-24. This will be a high scoring game and has the potential to be a big shootout. Unlike last year, the Raiders have won their two games pretty easily. I think this will be the first thriller of the season that comes down to the end. The Redskins have a good offense, but the Raiders offense is even more high powered and carries this team to victory. I'm looking forward to this game. It will be the first of many primetime games for the Raiders this season and FedEx Field will be charged. This is a great early season test for the Raiders. If they're able to perform on the bright lights, we'll see how the Raiders perform under the microscope. More importantly, this is the first good passing offense the Raiders secondary will face. Let's see just how much the Raiders defense has improved and enjoy the game.